Today we make a PCB with KiCad 7. I will use this AT Tiny DigiSpark USB circuit from a previous video as an example. KiCad is freeware. You can download it at KiCad.org. We will start with the schematic. Then we create a custom symbol for the USB connector and a custom PCB footprint matching the symbol. Then we make the PCB layout and create Gerber and drill files that we will use to order the PCB. Finally, we will build and test the circuit. Let's start with the schematic. Click here on create new project. Let's call it ATtiny85 USB. Save. Then we start the schematic editor and click on add a symbol. Then we search for a resistor, R. We press OK. Then we zoom in on the component with the mouse wheel. And we double click. Now we can change the properties. The value 68 ohm. And select the footprint. And we search for resistor. And I want to use a 805 hand solder. Double click. And press OK. Now we need another three resistors. So we copy this one and paste it three times. The footprints have been copied along, so we only need to change the values. Double click. This one is 330 ohm. Okay. And this one is 1K5. Okay. Now we continue to place the other components. Now we add the power connections. Five volt. And ground. And we add all the wires. Click here. Now the USB connector is still missing. For this we will make a custom symbol. For this we go to the symbol editor and we first make a new symbol library. Click on file, new library, global and we call it one my custom symbol library. Save. Select the library then click on create new symbol. Symbol name PCB USB connector. Click OK. Zoom out and we add pins. First add PCC, pin number one, power input. Then we add D plus, pin number two, bidirectional. D minus, pin number three, also bidirectional, and finally ground, pin number four, and that's also a power input pin. Now we draw a rectangle, double click, and fill the body with background color, and we add a text in the box, USB. Save. The symbol is finished. Now we will make a custom footprint for the USB connector. Close the symbol editor and start the footprint editor. Then we make a new footprint library, file, new library, global, and we call it one my custom library called pretty. Save. Now we click on new footprint. Footprint name is PCB USB connector and the type is SMD. Now we add four pads. Pads are here. Add a pad. One, two, three, 
three, four. Now we can edit the position and size of the pads. Double click on the pad. This pad needs to be seven millimeter times two millimeter. Okay. This pad is six by 1.5 millimeter. This one is the same, six by 1.5, and again, seven by two millimeter. Now we position the pads. This one should be at minus 3.75 millimeter. This one should be at minus one millimeter, one millimeter, and 3.75 millimeter. Then we add the silk screen text USB. Select silk screen, click here. USB. Okay. And we add a keep out zone for the components. Also, there we use silk screen and we draw a box of 5 millimeter. Click save and the custom footprint is finished. Then we start the schematic editor and we place our new symbol. And now we select the footprint for the USB. Double click for the footprint. We go to my custom library and double click and the schematic is finished. Click save. Start the PCB editor. Select tools, update PCB from schematic and click update PCB. Close. Zoom in. And here you see all the components. We first define the PCB outline. For that you use the edge cuts layer. Select edge cuts, then we draw a rectangle. First just draw one, press escape, double click, and then define the size. 14 millimeter long and 12.2 millimeter wide. Okay, now we zoom to fit and we bring that rectangle to our components and zoom again. Now let's rearrange all the components. Here you can set the snap grid. You can move them with the mouse. If you want to rotate, you can use this button or you can press R. All components are placed. Now we add the tracks. Click here to add a track. If you want to change a layer, you right click and you select place through via or you press a V. Your PCB is finished. You can now check it in the 3D viewer. View, 3D viewer. Now, because this PCB is really small, I will make a panel with multiple PCBs. For that, I will first make a copy of the PCB. File, save a copy, and I will call that 80 tiny USB panel. Save. Now I close the PCB, and you see there's a new file here. I will open that new file, it's the panel. I'll make two rectangles with edge cuts. We first select edge cuts, rectangle. And the first rectangle will be 34 by two millimeter. And the second seven and a half by two millimeter. Now I place them along the PCB in the middle. Now select the PCB. You can do that with the mouse, or you can press Ctrl A. Stand on this corner, press Copy, Ctrl C, and Paste. Now you can move the copied PCB to the side. You can zoom in and paste it. Now we zoom out. We select these two PCBs. Stand on this corner, Copy, Paste. Change the grid and we continue this process 
until the panel is complete. Now I have a panel with 14 PCBs and I will delete all the non-needed edge cut rectangles. The one here on the top we don't need and the ones on the side we will not need. Now we also delete the edge cut rectangles of the PCBs except for the bottom left and top right one. Now we will resize the bottom right edge cut to become the panel border. And I delete the top right one. Now the panel is finished. Let's check it in the 3D viewer. View, 3D viewer. So here you see the panel and the slots between the PCBs. Now the panel is finished and we will make the Gerber files to order the PCBs. In the PCB layout go to File, Fabrication Outputs, Gerbers. You can keep all the defaults as they are here. Then press Plot. The Gerber files have been created and here you see the path where the files are. Now click Generate Drill Files and close. Now we can close the PCB editor and go here to View, Browse Project Files. Now select here all the GBR and DRL files. So we remove this GBR job file and add this to a zip file. Add to Archive. On the desktop. Okay. Now we find the zip file here on the desktop. To check your Gerber file, go to the Gerber viewer and press File, Open Zip File Archive, go to the desktop and open the zip file we just created. And here you see the Gerber file. Now I will send this zip file. To the PCB manufacturer to order the PCBs. The PCBs have arrived. Let's build and try them. So the PCB works very good. I hope this video will get you started with KiCad 7, so you can make your own PCBs. KiCad has many more functions than I just showed you, like copper fill, direct rule check, image converter for logos and so on. You can find all this information in the official KiCad manual, link is in the description. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and let me know your experience in the comments.